In this video, I'm going to show you how to create consistent characters with AI. I will also explain what to include in your prompts so your consistent characters look amazing. And I will also share some tips so you can avoid common mistakes. So let's get started. I'll be using a tool called Design, which makes creating characters super easy. And if you don't have an account yet, you can click in the link in my description and create one completely for free. So once you have created your account, it will look like this. And in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to create your consistent characters. And we can start with this first option. For this one, what we have to do is once we are in the home page of design, we can click in new project. In this section, it's going to ask you the size that you want for your creation. So I'm just going to keep it in one by one, but you can go and select between all of these options. Otherwise, you can go and click in custom and over here, you can just go and and select the measurements for your creation but i'm just going to keep it on this option and i will click in apply so if you already have a picture of your character what you can do is just go directly to the option of image to image but because i don't have a character yet i'm going to start with text to image and over here like any other ai first of all we have to go and add our prompt so i'm just going to be using this one Create a brown hair blue eye boy with a blue t-shirt. When adding your prompt, you just have to add the necessary information because adding more information can confuse the AI and it won't give the same result as if you only add the necessary information. So I'm just going to go and use this one. Now we can go and select the style for our character. And to do this, we can go to this section over here. I'm just going to click in that arrow and over here we can see all the options that design have, which are a lot and I really like all all of these options but for my character i'm going to be using tune face now we can move on in to choose the aspect ratio over here you can go and select that it follows the canvas size to stay consistent otherwise you can go and select your specific ratio so i'm just going to go and let it follow the size of the canva and now in this section you can go and choose the style intensity so if you want it to be exactly like this style you can go and increase it or if you want to get some variations you can go and reduce it so we can see that it says weak it will reduce minimum or you can go and keep it strong or the strongest so I'm just gonna go and keep it on medium over here I will always recommend you to keep it on high quality now if we click in the advanced section we can go and add a negative prop so over here you can add what you don't want for your character so you can be like no thick lines no blur or anything that will make our character to look bad. So you can add it over here, but it's not necessary. Once I already have all of these, I can go and click in generate. And now it's gonna take a few seconds till it start to generate some options for my character. Now, as you can see, it already generated very interesting options for me. I really like all of them. I really like this option. So what I can do is just go and generate some variations. So let's say that I want variations of the option number two, I can click in two. And now it will generate variations of this same character. And now we can see that we have great options and I'm going to be using this one. So to add it into my Canva, I just have to double click. And now it's over here. And now we can move on into create the consistent characters. And to do this, we can move on into image to image. So if you already have your character, what you can do is just click in this section and then just upload your character. But I have already created mine and we can work in image to image. Now to generate a variation of this same character doing something else, what you can do is once we are in the image to image, we're going to click in create your own style. So over here, I'm just going to go and I'm going to click in quick style. Over here, I'm just going to click in choose an image on the canvas and I'm going to select my image. And now, as we can see in this section, I already have my own image as my own style. What we have to do now is just go and add the prompt for the next scene of our character. So I'm just going to be using this prompt, boy holding a basketball. But over here, you can go and get even more detail on which kind of background you want, which movements you want that your character make. But remember, only keeping the necessary stuff. So once you have completed your prompt, the next thing that we have to do is just go and adjust the style intensity. Over here, I will recommend you to keep it on medium, but you can also go and play around with this style and use the one that is more useful to you. 
and the same goes for the structure match. I'm just gonna keep it on very similar so I can get the same structure and I will also recommend you to keep on the face match. This is to get the same face of our character. And I also like to keep the high quality of this. We can go and click in advance and add negative prompts. But I'm just gonna keep it like this and I can go and click in generate. And as you can see, it to really generate a consistent character in different scenes. So we have the same face, but with different backgrounds. And if we want to add one of these one, we just go and double click in our images. And let's say that I really like this option over here. We can do exactly the same of what we did for the creation of our character. We can click in variation and we can click in generate some variations of this image number one. And now it's gonna go and generate them. And you can keep doing this till you finish all the scenes for your character. Now we can move on into the second option to create our consistent characters. And for this, what we have to do is just go to the section of character. Over here, I'm just gonna go and select this option. Once we are on this option, we can do exactly the same. And to do this, we're gonna make exactly the same. We're just gonna click in this plus and we're gonna click in quick style. And over here, I'm just gonna go and select my second image. And now we have our own image like style. Otherwise, you can go and select one of the options from design. This one also works very well. So once I already have my style, I can go and add again my prompt. So I'm going to use the exact same prompt. And over here, we can go and select the aspect ratio. So I'm just going to click in canvas. Now for our style intensity, I'm just going to keep it on medium. And I will also keep the high quality. And now we can click in generate. And as you can see over here, we got consistent characters in the same page. And we can even see our consistent characters from different viewpoints, which is great for animations or even storybooks. So you can use all of these options, but if you want to get variations of a specific option, we can make exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go and select a variation of the number four. And over here, we got even more options of our consistent character. And what I really love about using design is that design has even more features to help to improve your characters. And for these ones, you can go to the section of AI editor. So let's say that I want to edit something in this image. I can just go and click in local edit. So I'm just going to add change his hair color to blonde. And over here, you can go and add your own style or just choose one from design. So I'm just going to go and keep it on here to face. And over here, we can go and select the area that we want to change. So I want to change his hair. So I'm just going to go and select it like this. And from the style intensity, you can control it over here. So you can make it medium or you can keep it on the strongest. But I'm just going to keep it on strong. And now we can click in generate. And as you can see, it marked the area where I want the change. But over here, it already generated the changes of the hair. So as you can see, it looks great. I really like it. It looks very interesting. And then you can just add it directly into your picture. So I can go and double click and then just add it over here. And we can keep making changes in our same image. Another great feature that I really like is insert objects. This works very similar to the other one. But over here, we have to go and upload the reference object. What I'm going to do is just click in upload and I will upload my image. So I'm just going to go and add my prompt and over here I also have my image. So over here we can go and select the object match. But first we have to go and select where we want this object to be add on our image. So I'm just going to go and select this section. Somewhere here I want my object. And I'm just going to go and click it over there and I can click in generate. And now it already generated a few options of how I can add this object into my same image, which is crazy because I only upload the image and it make it with one click. So we can see the different options. So I think I really like this option. So I'm just going to go and double click. And I already have the changes in my same image. The next amazing feature that I really like about design is the AI eraser. Over here is just very simple. We only have to go and select the area that we want to delete. So let's say that I want to delete this ball over here. I'm just going to go and select it. And if you select wrong by mistake, you can always go and undo it or you can put it back. So I want to delete this area and I'm going to click in generate. So as you can see in this option over here, it disappeared it. 
but it also gives me some other options in case that I just want to change it. But I'm just going to click in this one. So double click and then I add my image over there without my element. And as a last option for our AI editor is to expand our images. And I need this image to be bigger. So I'm just going to go and click in generate expand. And I can go and expand the image in all the directions that I want. So if I want to go and make it higher from here, something like this. And also from here, I can go and generate it like this, bigger from here. So maybe something like this. And over here, I'm just going to go and add this prompt, complete the remaining areas with the same image. And I can just go and click in generate. And I'm so surprised of how good this image is. So we take our image from here and it generates all this complete image for us. Apart from these four amazing AIs that we just tried, the local edit, the insert object, the AI eraser, and the expand, we also have some amazing tools that we can use. Starting with the face kit. Over here, we can go and make a face swap. So if you want to use a specific face, what you can do is just click over here. And over here, you can go and upload the picture that you want for your face swap. And to add my picture over here, I'm just going to click in upload and I'm just going to choose my picture. This one over here and I'm going to click in open. Over here, it already identified the face that I want to use for my character. And I'm just going to click in generate. As you can see, now it says that it detected two different faces, but I want it for my main character. So I'm just going to select the first one and I'm going to click in confirm. And now it's going to start to generate the face swap. And as you can see now, it generates some face swaps. This one, I like it more so I can go and double click and I can use it. And the next tool that we can also use is a face repair. So over here we can do exactly what we did before. We can just go and select the part that we want to edit. So I can go and just choose his face. And in the text box, I can go and add my prompt. In this section, you can choose if you want your face to be similar or you can even make it diverse or even strongly similar. But I'm just going to keep it on similar and I can click in generate. And over here, it gives us more options for our face. So I think I really like this one. It looks much better, so I can go click and add it. And in case that you don't only want to upscale one face, you want to upscale the whole image because we make a lot of changes now. What you can do is go into this section. We can go and enhance the whole image. So I'm just going to click over it. And now it's going to take a few seconds till it generates it. And as we can see over here, it already make our upscale. So if we go and move this bar over here, we can see the upscale in the whole image. We can see that everything looks even more clear than it did before. So we can see a before and then a complete after, which is insane with only one click. I really like this option. So I'm just going to click in place on canvas and then we already have our image upscale. Now that I really like this character, what I can also do is just go and change the complete background of it and keeping the same character. And to do this, I'm just going to click in remove background. And now, as you can see, we have our characters as a complete different image. We can go delete this one over here and we only have remaining our characters. But if you only want to keep your main character, you can go and click in erase. So over here, we can go select the parts that we don't want. So I'm just going to go select this part. You can even go closer if you cannot see very well. So we can go and make exactly this. So we have this over here. I'm just going to go closer as well because then I can see better. And then just remove this part. We can do this all together. So just being careful that I don't touch my main character. And there we go. We already have this part. And now we can click in generate to erase them. And in case that you erase by mistake something that you wanted to keep, it doesn't really matter because over here we still have all of our past creations and now we only have our main character. So there is two options to add the background for our character. The first option, if you already have the background of your character, you can click in upload and just select something from your gallery. Otherwise, we can go to this section, product background, and over here we can go and select one of the backgrounds that design have. So as you can see, we have many options. We have street, we have the mountains, we have like specific areas from the house. So I can go and just select one of these ones. So I really like the street, so I'm just going to click over it and then it's going to generate my background. 
and now it has generated few options for us. So we have different parts of this street. As you can see, we have cars over here, or you can keep it only like in the normal street. And we can do exactly the same as with the other images. We can go and just select one of the options to make a variation of it. But I'm just going to be selecting this one. So I'm just going to go double click and I can add it into my Canva. You can start creating all of your characters and use all these amazing features completely for free. And for each creation, you will use four credits. Plus, all your images will be with watermark. So if you don't want to have any restrictions, you can upgrade to a premium account. And these are the available plans. For the beginner plan, you will have to pay $8 per month for 900 credits. For the creator plan, you will have to pay $19.99 per month for 3,000 credits. Or if you want to get unlimited credits, you can get the master plan for $59.99 per month. And if you choose to pay for the year, you will get an amazing 20% discount on each plan. So don't miss a chance to create amazing consistent characters with designs features. Now you know how to create consistent characters and you can use them to create storybooks, animations or anything else that you imagine. If you want to learn how to create storybooks and sell them on Amazon, you can check out my other video. I will leave the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.